today we have a weekly muse and uh, when I was going through researching some stuff that we're going to talk about later in the show, oh I, boy. I stumbled upon some odd gaming stories. And um, I might talk about a few of them in the next few episodes, but this one came across my path and I thought to myself, this is just so weird, so odd. I must talk about it on the show. And so I'm going to give you the link... <clears throat> Because this um this makes no sense to me. Uh boy. So Dog the Bounty Hunter. Do you remember oh. him from way back when? I try not to. Okay. Um I don't tend to watch television, let alone terrible television. Yes, and frankly, most people probably have not heard his name spoken very much in the last decade or so. But um, that has not precluded them from committing to making a series of video games. Not just one, a whole series? A, a series of video games about his life. And so I thought to myself, that's the weirdest thing I have ever heard. And just an I'm, odd take. I'm mm -hmm. fairly surprised that it's not a Tiger King series. <laughs> wait for it <laughs> no <laughs> don't worry that all all they do is they just like uh reskin the um zoo tycoon <laughs> for tiger king that'd be great but uh anyway from the uh the comic book.com article uh Dwayne chapman better known as dog the bounty hunter poised to become a star in the world of video games longtime television personality revealed today that he has signed a new deal that will See him lending his identity and likeness for the purpose of making games. First, as part of this collaboration has yet to be announced. Sounds like it will definitely won't be a one-off venture. And it even sounds, when I go deeper into the article, that uh, these will probably be coming out relatively soon. Or at least the first one. Great. Yeah. Now, who... Okay, my first question is... Who's making the game? Thank you for asking that. Um, it is Virtual Interactive Technologies are the ones that are going to be doing that. And I know what you're thinking. Who the hell are Who the are fuck is that? <laughs> Who are they? So I did, you, I did you solid and I actually looked up a little bit about the company. Oh, good. Thank you. Uh, that's a, that's it's a solid. A, a solid thinking ahead for once. Yeah. Yes. Um. And unfortunately, they don't give me a ton of information about them. But basically, what you need to know, Virtual Interactives Technology Corp. It's a Denver, Colorado-based video game production, publishing, and technology company. Uh, they have That's a, a mouthful. I know, right? Uh, the company has a portfolio of five video game titles that include, wait for it. Oh, boy. Carmageddon Max Damage. I feel like I wasn't that like a PlayStation era game? Yeah, well, like I mean, PS2 era. Sorry. The original Carmageddon. If you're oh. thinking the but these these are these would be newer. Car uh, oh, Car okay. Carmageddon Crashers. They're really leaning into the Carmageddon thing. Interplanetary, the Enhanced Edition, um, Warbital, and Catch and Release VR. Warbital. Yep. Warbital. That's a what kind? Of, I don't even know what type of name that is. Don't worry, I can tell you. It's oh. it's it's orbital, but yeah, it has I... a W in front of it. Anywho, uh, basically, it's a it's like a gravity shifting game where you like around planets. Like, do you ever remember the? Um, no, you don't. But um, Angry Birds, Angry Birds in space, like they did the physics space, but it it, it goes oh, around I the planets. Okay, and stuff. this looks. Boy, I can't wait for the people that made this to make a Dog the Bounty Hunter game. Oh, I know, right? See, when I originally heard this idea, my first thought was, okay, do Pac-Man, but give Pac-Man a mullet and we're there. The 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 ghosts jumped bail. And and Dog the Pac-Man has to go and hunt down. Okay, you you said they made Carmageddon Max Damage. Max Damage, yes. This says it was Stainless Games LTD, published by THQ Nordic. Well, then somebody lied to me. 
Um, <laughs> were they were they the production company though? Um, stainless Games. Because they are involved, or at least the guy that's kind of like at the head of it is has been involved in a lot of different um, companies over the years. Stainless Games is uh, unannounced VR game, Carmageddon Max Damage, unannounced collectible card game, Magic Duels, Magic uh, 2015 Duels of the Planeswalkers, uh, Shock Rods, boy, <laughs> I don't know, I know a couple of these, but unannounced collectible card game, I like this one. Oh, that always sounds good. I can't wait for that. Anyways, anyways, um. I don't I don't really care. For for that matter, though, Warbidal is at, like the developer and publisher is technically referred to as Team Jolly Roger. I I okay. think I think Virtual Interactive Technologies, the Denver, Colorado-based video game production publishing and technology company, is more of the behind the scenes um, like financial institution for a lot of these. Sure. Yeah, but so and, yeah. So then, who's gonna actually make the game? Is my question. Who knows. <laughs> I'm gonna guess one of the development houses that they currently work with. Um, but uh, no idea which one. Uh, let me just see. They might be able to actually tell me. Uh, I don't think they do. Okay, so, they, so they do. what kind of game are we talking about with a dog the bounty hunter video game? <laughs> Unclear! <laughs> but, the, what... <laughs> What the, um, Jason Garber, the CEO of Virtual Interactive Technologies, a Denver, Colorado based being, <laughs> said, this is the quote, uh, collaborating with Dog and his team to help create unique experiences for our customers is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Dog's successful career in reality television and his widely recognized persona will provide us with exceptional content to build a number of exciting and engaging games. I hope it's a parody of his life and he hates it. Oh my god, that would be amazing. What uh, if they just took the GTA Trilogy Edition? Yeah, just and just reskinned it. it. Just Instead of it. playing, you know, uh, the the Rossetti or CJ or anything like that, yeah. you just up and make Dog the protagonist of the game and just yeah. run around. Uh, instead of get jacking cars, you just catch bounties yeah yeah i mean there's got to be something in there i mean just take oh you know what you do is you just take the carmageddon right but it's just dog in the van and he goes around and he just gets he just what if we just reskin the witcher oh my god yeah the hair is almost or, right or we can just make a mod for skyrim you could make a mod for skyrim yeah is there already a mod for Skyrim for Dog? I'm not Dog? looking it up. Nope. <laughs> um, I, I, there's already Macho Man Randy Savage in Skyrim. I don't need Dog the Bounty Hunter. Yeah, but the difference is Macho Man Randy Savage is a legend, so we're oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Um but and Terrifying Rowdy Roddy dragons. Piper. You know? I need I need a lot more. Um this is this last paragraph though is my favorite paragraph of this article. It says, as a whole, this is a pretty strange announcement to see come about. The height of popularity for Dog the Bounty Hunter was surely well over a decade ago, so to make multiple video games about him in 2022 is a bit bizarre. Still, there will surely be an audience for whatever these games end up becoming, so it does make sense on that front. Does it? No. <laughs> I don't think How would it that make does. sense? <laughs> I love It's like, oh, his popularity peaked about a decade ago? It's a little weird to make a game now, but someone will buy it. I, I mean, no one really remembers who he is and everything, but I guess it makes sense because there's an audience for it. No, I think you just talked yourself into a corner, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure, and I don't have the analytics to back this statement up, but I'm pretty sure most people that watch... Uh, what, what channel did it air on, TLC? Yes? Probably. I'm pretty sure most people watching that aren't big video gamers. Mm. I want to I want to guess that. I'm thinking the crossover is not high. There's there's not a lot of intersection there. Yeah. Um, you know, if they made like an Animal Crossing version of it where he's not really doesn't look like dog, but he looks like a little 
avatar version of dog that looks like him and can do stuff like that that might sell that might sell oh if they made mortal kombat yeah just make dog the mortal kombat hunter yeah the mortal kombat hunter yeah absolutely he goes get over here and he goes oh no you're running oh yeah no shit <laughs> what do we get i guess you gotta run him down and then you get like a life lesson out of the maybe whole just let you run them down in his car since they have so much experience with Carmageddon. With, with Carmageddon, yeah, ex absolutely. There's some possibilities here. I could see the kind of game they could make out of or, this. Or an anthropomorphic dog uh, I... who is a bounty hunter <laughs> with the personality of dog. <laughs> that might sell. That might sell. It might sell. Who knows? Um, the, uh, the virtual interactive technologies... Um, seems to just to kind of give you an idea what it might actually be um the uh, the company finances development of video game projects to be uh, to be released on various gaming platforms has an emphasis on mobile gaming virtual reality and new and emerging game technologies so they're probably going to try to make it a mobile game i imagine it's it's probably mobile um but you know i get are I can almost see a Pokemon Go style clone where you have to go and collect bounties in the real world working. Right. As an right. AR game. Oh. That could make it work. It's like, oh yeah, there's there's a bounty, go collect, do this task over here. Mm. Something like that could be, that would be interesting. Something. Or or and, and you go down like the side streets or, or building and you have to collect mullets. Yeah, collect Just mullets. Collect mullets wherever you, you know, go. See how many people we can get out of their home and chasing down uh, fictional uh, augmented reality ghosts. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> augmented reality ghosts. Oh yeah. no, it's the ghost cops. <laughs> get out of the way. I do like the idea of a VR game though. That would be kind of no. great. That would be terrible. No. I don't think That'd I want that. It's so bad. <laughs> but at any rate, uh, I mean, it kind of got me thinking about the idea of like, if this is going to be the wave of the future, is are we going to just have random like reality show stars from like ten years I ago? I hope not. They just be <laughs> just. Did be... they even? Did they ever even make a Survivor game? I think they. Actually, I think they made a Survivor board game. That doesn't. No, I meant video game. Oh, a video that, game. It doesn't quite count. Maybe. I mean, the thing about it is, is that survival is a whole genre in itself. So you'd have to kind of a yeah. crowded marketplace. They're not going to be able to make green hell or something like that. But but I don't survival. know. But anyways, the point is, reality shows probably not your best bet for making video game content. Uh, you're probably going to have a little bit of a hard road. <laughs> but you know what? I guess we'll find out when this comes out. Um. And Nathan, depending on the platform this comes out on, I think you should stream it. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I gotta find a mullet to wear while I do it. God. I'm gonna find a mullet and get some glasses. It'll be the most hair you've had in years. Thanks. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> hey, this is why I needed the VR experience. So that I can finally have the virtual reality feeling of having hair. No, oh, because we don't see you in VR. Oh, yeah, but you know what? It just me, It's just for my edification. Okay. More than anything. It's okay. important. Uh, anyway. So, our new patron goal is, uh, at enough money, we'll get Nathan a really nice mullet. Yeah, exactly. Your patron dollars at work to buy Nathan a really sweet mullet that yes. he can wear for every episode. <laughs> I, will, I will wear it on at least one episode of the show that's month. the rule a month every <laughs> every month there's going to be mullet mondays <laughs> we'll get you a big one like wayne's world style oh perfect i would absolutely yeah. love that yeah wayne's or joe world. dirt or joe dirt yeah some other wonderful characters to make video oh. games out of yeah or in the spirit of this topic it can be dog the bounty hunter yes yeah um uh, all, all great subjects for games. Can't wait to play Wayne's World. <laughs> we need to make a game and call it Mullet Quest. Oh, Jason Anarchy. Get on. <laughs> That's a collectible card game if I ever saw one. 
Um, <laughs> oh, this is hell. We're in hell. We're in hell. <laughs>